One song can change a moment. One idea can change a world. One step can start a journey. But a prayer can change even the impossible. We would like to begin the workshop, the blessing of Lord Almighty with a prayer song. We request you all to write for a prayer song. Thank you. Please be seated. Predicting the future isn't magic. It's artificial intelligence, said Dave Waters. English is a global language that has brought people and cultures together. It is now, in the, cult in the current global scenario, become the language of education, technology, trade, and cross-cultural relations. The PG and Research Department of English, Bishop Heber College, is chiefly interested in opening fresh avenues for personality development and command of language skills, along with the acquisition of knowledge of the subject English literature. It offers need-based programs provided in an academic environment of quality higher education and imbibes essential and universal values implicit in literature and life. Artificial intelligence is a recurrent theme in science fiction, emphasizing both the potential benefits. This one day session thus will guide us down a road that uses artificial intelligence to enlighten the literary minds. We would like to invite Dr. G. Parvati, Associate Professor of English, to present the welcome address. A pleasant morning and warm greetings to everyone. We are riding high on what Alvin Toffler calls the technological wave. And we are living on the precipice of the technological revolution. Donna Haraway points out, we are all hybrids of man and machine. We are cyborgs. Artificial intelligence is both a frightening and fascinating subject. 
as it not only augments human intelligence, but also throws a perilous possibility. As Stephen Hawking says, the full development of artificial intelligence will spell the end of the human race. Today's workshop on artificial intelligence and literature is a very relevant and need of the hour topic, as it will help us gain a grounding on the social, intellectual, moral and ethical bearings and manifestations of artificial intelligence in literature. I take this opportunity to welcome our revered principal in absentia and thank him for being the wellspring of support and motivation for us through thick and thin. I welcome the vice principal aided and vice principal self-financed and the bazaar of the college and thank them for their goodwill and support. I heartily welcome Dr. Shobana, the Dean of Arts and Head of the Department of English and thank her profusely for piloting the department through many quality enhancing and student centric activities. I welcome Dr. Suresh Frederick, the Dean of R&D and the UG Head of the Department and Dr. C. Danapal, the Dean of Training and Placement, Coordinator Shift 2 of the Department and the organizer of this workshop for their dynamic presence and their contribution to the growth of the department. I cordially welcome the chief guest and resource person of the day, Mr. Prashant Arokya Sami, Assistant Professor of English, St. Joseph's College, Trichy. Thank you very much, sir, for taking time to be with us today. I thank the organizing team of this workshop Welcome the chief speaker. I now thank, I welcome the organizing team of this particular workshop, Dr. Nancy Perlin, Dr. Shanti, Dr. Ruth Rajati, and Ms. Luda Francia, assistant professors of English, uh, Bishop Heber College, and all the staff members of shift one and shift two of the department for taking pains to meticulously organize and plan for this whole workshop for almost a month now. I welcome everyone. I happily welcome all the stalwarts of the day, the PG students of the first year and second year of the aided and self-financed sections of the department of both day and evening sections. Thank you for being here and for having lit up the show with your heartwarming presence. I also welcome all the participants who have joined us online and offline through various from various prestigious institutions. And I wish and hope this one day workshop will open our minds to new vistas of knowledge and also research on artificial intelligence in literature. Have a fruitful day. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am, for your warm words of welcome. May we now request ma'am, Dr. S. Shobana, Dean of Academics, Arts, Associate Professor and Head, Department of English, to deliver the presidential address. Thank you all, the organizers, especially Dr. Danapal, the student organizers, staff organizers, students of Shift 2 for having thought about such a program. First of all, profuse thanks to them. <clears throat> it's because in these days of hectic work and someone comes forward to do a productive program like this, I'm only all thankful to them. And till, till the end of my life, I'll be thankful in the sense that, no, it's something that some, some seminars, some workshops, some talks, need to be done, <clears throat> need to be done. One such a workshop is uh, this kind of a workshop on an intelligence that's called artificial. Intelligence of humans <clears throat> by itself, you and I know, is a privilege, an honor, a gift from God. <clears throat> And exactly why we are here in a, an higher educational institution now. 
we went through about 12 years of schooling and we are here at the higher educational level trying to hone our intelligence. Some may say that intelligence is just a pack of information. <clears throat> yes, of course, the first accumulation of information is very important for us to grow wiser later, how to use this intelligence. Some of the humans are not gifted with this basic ability to process information too. We know <clears throat> in these days of widespread autism everywhere, we should be proud and happy that we are able to be here in a college, a higher education institution, which acknowledges this uh, gift that has come to us from God, the way our brain is working towards processing information. That is intelligence. Basically, it begins from there. The moment we begin to thank God or thank ourselves for having been given this gift, uh, having been uh, uh, able to use this gift intelligence, that too at a, a higher educational level, that's college. <clears throat> this thankfulness, this gratefulness makes us think of what lies next to it.
like to register my thanks to many people uh, my thanks my sincere thanks goes to our head of the department dr shobana and ug head of the department dr suresh frederick because they are the guiding force they are the pillars of support whatever programs we take to them they immediately support guide us and give a lot of suggestions as how to conduct and it is because of their guidance and uh, the spirit behind all these things, we are able to organize this program in a very meticulous way. So on behalf of everyone present here, especially on behalf of the organizing committee, I thank them profusely, profusely for guiding us and supporting us. Okay. And, uh, okay, can clap. <laughs> Second thing I would like to thank is, um, uh, Father Paul Prakash, Father Paul Prakash from uh, St. Joseph's College, and uh, our our chief guest, our resource person is doing PhD under Father Paul Prakash. So uh, I happen to be uh, his uh, doctoral committee member, okay. and um, I thank both Father Dr. Paul Prakash and our Prashant uh, uh, resource person today for uh, graciously accepting our uh, invitation and being present here as the resource person for this artificial intelligence workshop. My sincere thanks goes to them also. Okay. And uh, we also uh, uh, extend a warm welcome and a big thanks to uh, head of the department of Bharati or University because they are also attending this program online about 40 or 50 students from Bardiyar University uh, 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 under the guidance of the head of the department as well as Dr. Vinod, they are attending this program. On behalf of our department, on behalf of everyone present here, I extend a warm welcome to them and also uh, register my thanks to them also. Okay. And uh, my heartfelt thanks goes to uh, the organizing committee headed by Dr. Nancy Perlin. Uh, she was the one who initiated it and uh, well organized, okay, uh, in spite of many difficulties, in spite of her own uh, 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 tight schedule, uh, teaching schedule and other responsibilities, she was able to organize even the minute things, even the minute things. And uh, that's why we are comfortably sitting in this hall. And she is well assisted by a group of teachers from both shift one and shift two, and especially her own students, her own students. They supported her very well. Okay. I thank them, uh, Dr. Nancy Perlin. Okay. Please give her a big round of applause and her team also. And uh, as one of the members of uh, organizing committee, I would like to say that how we uh, came to uh, 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 conduct a workshop like this. Okay. Uh, two things. One is 
when i attended a doctoral committee meeting of dr mr prashant uh, he told me he gave me he he told me the books that he has selected for his research and um, and i think his doctoral committee meeting went for some two or uh, hours because i had many questions because this is a new area to me um, and uh, he told me he gave me some six or seven books i am not sure okay and all the books were written by machines not human beings all the books were written by okay so that was uh, what you call an eye opener to me that even the machines can write books okay and the machines can give uh, authors name also they give name to themselves the machines give them author name is clear uh but i didn't know that he was going to come for this workshop because today morning only he told me sir i am uh, what do you call you are you are one of the doctoral committee members for this okay but so that is one of the reasons that we we conceived this idea of conducting a workshop on artificial intelligence number 2 some students i think some uh, uh, dr nancy apple institute students they came they came and uh, they proposed this idea they suggested this idea sir or uh, to nancy madam they told they requested ma'am we need a workshop on artificial intelligence okay so this idea came from students this idea came from students okay and because uh, some of you are already students of our resource person mr prashant you are already attending this course so they they gave this idea the students gave this idea and you all know that in bishop eber when when ideas come from
So we all start with the quote, uh, all humans misery derive from not being able to sit in a quiet uh, room, room alone. It's, it's almost the same. Uh, we are all gathered here to learn so and so, but from the bi biological and evological perspective, in the intelligence or knowledge, we can even live without coming into the session or coming to college or gaining knowledge. But there are things we put pressure as ourselves. Uh, before getting into the uh, main topics, I'll just sprinkle out certain ideas which have been very popular or trendy in these days. Uh, we will the AI rise, <laughs> artificial intelligence rise. So get ready for that. But it, this is some something of stupid idea. But, but who knows? Uh, when comparing to artificial intelligence, our intelligence are very much uh, involved with stupidity. And we are very much focused on doing some stupid things. So artificial, uh, this is something I've, I've taken a few days back, photo. And this is how uh, the learning environment has been changing. It was given in a business uh, newspaper last week when I was going through. You need your intelligence to score 100%, 90%. To score 100, you need artificial intelligence. Yeah. Everything starts with comedy. tragedy So that is the case. Next. Uh, this was actually uh, informed by me, by Dr. Sheryl Davis, to use this in the forum. Uh, we, we, we might have watched this. Uh, this is something funny, right? We were just having a laugh and then having a kind of comedy. Next one. But this doesn't make you feel happy or, or make us laugh. So recently, Google and Microsoft lay out more than uh, uh, thousands of people because of the automation. The, the reason the, the CEOs of Google and Microsoft gave is due to automation, people are getting unemployed day by day. Uh, this, this, I think that in last month it has been uh, came in, and there are so much of uh, news has been coming along in recent newspapers, and you can have a look at it. A man and machine. Initially, it was man versus machine. Uh, that photo was taken uh, one and a half years back. At that column, uh, I, I, I don't remember the uh, journal name, but man versus machine was the first idea. But after that, it was man merging with machines or technology. Last month, the Hindu, if you have gone through the Hindu, very a topic of auditancy, even in classrooms. And it is in English, chat GPT and the future of journalism. Uh, dear content writers and whoever is interested in journalism, be get ready. Uh, it's not to scare you that you will not, you will be unemployed or you don't get job. But there are challenges that we are not aware of. There are some new challenges are going to emerge and we need to envisage the challenges. And that's the only focus point of me. Not to scare you. But you should know the premise exactly. You should spend your time cleverly and, and very smart enough. So I go for Tamil Hindu. Actually, this whole essay has been generated from Chat GPT and then he translated it in from English to Tamil and it got published. And one among the line that he have noted is that is very important. Using all the artificial intelligence or machine, we can make things or we can generate things, but it will never create anything new. That's the main, uh, it's like a thesis statement. It will never create anything new. It will give you statistical report or it will give you an evaluation of whatever has been happened in the past, but not uh, uh, a new something new, which humans uh, possess of creativity, innovation, and so on and so And today's Tamil Nadu PhD factories have been sold. Uh, people were doing so much of research and they are publishing, getting doctorates. But what is it used for and what kind of area they are using and mean doing their research is very much a question of thing. About PhD, whenever you're going for uh, your research area, maybe in the future, uh, very, very keen and very smart enough to choose the areas which will have future for you in the coming days. Right. Uh, so this is what I have planned. It's just a uh, jimmings, just to make you know that these are the things happen day. We will get to know.
ஆர்டிபிஷியல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் இன் லிட்ரேச்சர் அப்படின்னு பார்க்கும் போது ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வீ நீட் டு நோ வாட் ஆர்டிபிஷியல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் இஸ் ஸோ மச் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஹவ் ஹவ் அவர் ஓன் ஐடியாஸ் பிகாஸ் இந்த இந்த ஜென்ரேஷன் எப்படி இருக்கு அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அவங்கவுங்களுக்கு ஒரு ஒரு நியாயம் அவங்கவுங்களுக்கு ஒரு ஒரு எண்ணங்கள் தே நீட் தே ப்ரைவசி அண்ட் யூ யூ வேர் கால்ட் அஸ் அண்ட் வி வேர் கால்ட் அஸ் வாட்ஸ்அப் யூனிவர்சிட்டி வாட் எவர் கம்ஸ் இன் சோஷியல் மீடியா வி ட்ரஸ்ட் இஸ் அன் அத்தன்டிக் சோர்ஸ் ஸோ ஸோ மச் ஆஃப் திங்ஸ் ஹவ் பீன் லைக் திஸ் அப்போ வி ஆஸ் அ குரூப் கம் டு நோ வாட் ஆக்சுவலி ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் எ பேசிக் ஐடியா ஐ கட் ஷார்ட் இட் பை டென் தேர்ட்டி அஸ் சூன் அஸ் பாசிபிள் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டாபிக் அண்ட் தென் வி வில் கமிங் இன் டு லிட்ரேச்சர் சிக்ஸ் ஹஸ் பீன் இன் டு தி டொமைன் ஆஃப் ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் அட் தோஸ் டேஸ் தெர் வாஸ் நோ டேர்ம் கால்ட் ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் அப்போல்லாம் அந்த மாதிரி வார்த்தைகள் கிடையாது டேர்ம்ஸ் ஆர் நியூ பட் தி ஐடியாஸ் ஆர் ஆர் நாட் அட் ஆல் நியூ திங்ஸ் அப்ப ஃப்ரம் ஏன்ஷியன் ஹவு லிட்ரேச்சர் ஹஸ் பீன் ப்ரொசஸிங் தி ஐடியா ஆஃப் மேன் அண்ட் மெஷின் அப்படின்ற கான்செப்ட் ஃப்ரம் கிளாசிக்ஸ் ஐ வில் ஜஸ்ட் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் இட் டு யூ ஸோ தட் வி வில் ஹாவ் அ ஃபீல் தட் திஸ் இஸ் நாட் சம்திங் அவுட் ஆஃப் அவர் சிலபஸ் இது நிறைய பேசியிருக்காங்க நிறைய சொல்லியிருக்காங்க பட் வி ஆர் ஆல்வேஸ் ஹேவிங் சிலபஸ் ஆன் ஷேக்ஸ்பியர் சாசர் வேர்ட்ஸ் வர்த் நம்ம அப்படியே வயல்வெளியிலே பூக்கள்லேயே அப்படியே போயிட்டோம் இந்த சைடு டெக்னாலஜிக்கெல்லாம் டெவலப் ஆனதை பார்க்கவே இல்லை நம்ம அந்த ரோடு எடுத்துட்டோம் now we are coming to the the other row and uh, the third thing is i have uh, brought some uh, text which was generated completely by machines as professor danabol said the book cover the cost even the review generated by artificial intelligence and there are some machines writing poetry you might have heard of uh, madan kaki who is very good at engineering things and he is uh, he is conducting a course pail uh, abindra mari where he discusses about cybernetic poetry if you just feed in your photo it will give you a poetry about you uh, for valentine's day I, i inform my own students to use cybernetic poetry because they are very versed in writing poetry avangalude tamil la pathina chennai sendamula da irukku so i just uh, suggested them to use such apps to use to just feed in the photo of the other other gender so that it will give you ninga enna dress potirukinga enna mari irukinga abindradha vache how many lines you expect it will generate a poetry adukapra namba urutta vendidha idu na eludhana da eppadi irukke nalla iruka abindra mari so we will discuss certain literatures which was generated by the machines and and practical approaches of course i'll i'll introduce into certain apps like chat gpt which we are very aware of apart from chat gpt there are other apps that we can use um, which which envisage our idea of looking from the literacy perspective Uh, literature padikiradnal for example you will impressed with the paintings or sculptures and you write down an essay a short story appo indha mari artificial intelligence ode vishayangal varumbodhu how our ontological and epistemological perspectives are completely changing abindra vishayatha we need to consciously aware of it's very much important and at the last it's very important for us enna da namba matha nalla vishayangal passionate ah pesnalum we need to be very logical and practical we are going to be employed and we are going to be higher studies or pg or and so on so so from research perspective and from the humanity humanistic perspective we need to look into certain areas so this is how we have classified the sessions in the mari da nam paaka porom so just get ready we will get into it and the agenda for this today session is completely we will focusing on the literature aspect uh, where though computer class la kadaiyadu but how literature has been for of and by the machines the machine nowadays it having the application of artificial intelligence machines ode uh, help or literature machines pathi pesnadhu romba kaalathilende irudhu adu modha far a irundhadhu then by aachu ipo off a irudhu so in the agenda la dhaan we are going to look at uh, the session so don't move away if at all i distract or deviate from the agenda of the session you can just kindly uh, let me know right artificial intelligence am i audible at the back i'm sorry uh, right um artificial intelligence artificial intelligence in the world has been becoming more of a cliche recent days எல்லா இடத்துலையும் இதை பத்தி தான் பேசுறாங்க நம்மளும் பேசுறோம் பட் வி ஹியூமன்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி எப்படி சொல்றது வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் அனிமல்ஸ் நமக்கு தெரியலனாலும் ஜாலியா பேசும் ஏய் ஆமா ஏய் அம்மா ஏய் அப்படி இப்படின்னு 
but we never know what actually uh, uh, we had a research as me, i mean in the topic we have been doing research for one and a half years with the help of the computer science department staff members and information technology as well as the linguistics uh, staff members to know how these things will work uh before getting into that we need to be very clear and and very precise about the three things uh, knowledge intelligence and wisdom uh, we humans are knowledge dumb information dumb we have so much of information from when we born nam parakum bodhu it's only brain it is not mind and it is not capable or engaged with knowledge so over the years through empiricism or empirical or experimental knowledge we will try, come to gain knowledge adha nama knowledge appdin solluvom whatever we get throughout the process it may be information facts or whatever so and so that's we call it as knowledge however intelligence differs from knowledge knowledge is about the measure how much we know whereas intelligence is it it is not about how much you know but how much you interrupt analyze and use it for your problem solving decision making and your daily day life that's intelligence we are all knowledgeable people but most of us were never an intelligent humans there are some students who are not very much knowledgeable but they are intelligent so there is a difference initially when uh, you you take machines for example machines were used in industries with having a knowledge Uh, in the time okay the pannano abdin but these days the machines are incorporated with intelligence that's the difference we 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 all all humans are incorporated with so much of informations but how we are going to go to the next step of becoming intelligent is very important that machine have already done it and the third thing is wisdom uh, wisdom knowledge and intelligence mooliyama dhan varum but it doesn't mean namak ellame therinjirukano abindradum kadaya so three definitions we need to be very aware of so how many of how many of you think you are very uh, knowledgeable person etana per ninge you believe yourself as very knowledgeable <laughs> and intelligent people yaar me illaya okay at the back there are some intelligent people right wise people wise people all of them are definitely all of us are wise people you know in the boomer talks ellame nammala mattu dhan kodukka mudiyum ella therinja mari pesum okay you ask any doubt from any field of studies we are ready to help when it come to our own situation we will struggle and stumble but for others nam therinja mari hey pandra nam paathala ala easy ana idan so wisdom is is something it's very it's not about quality uh, it's it's not about quantity i'm sorry it's about quality that intuition that works in yourself that other animals or machines will never have intuition the innovation and creativity whatever the term that we call it as will fit into the uh, the term called wisdom so knowledge is what we know and in, intelligence is what we analyze interpret evaluate and use it for problem solving decision making and other as such things and wisdom as i said it's an intuitive intuitive a phenomena that only human possess even of course animals possess uh, we are we are high rated animals that's the only different right next so artificial intelligence abdin solumbodu uh, the theory you can read the definition visual perception speech recognition decision making translation of language everything artificial intelligence can done enna nalla manisham panna mudiyum apdi namba solromo we always uh, hide behind the aspect of emotion uh, humans cannot uh, repro uh, re- another, i mean uh, reciprocate emotions may be intelligent it can be give results problem solve decision making but it cannot be uh, emotive as humans but when you take alexa and siri okay and you can use chatbots for example Uh, i don't know how many of you are more to single adu nammala nam use panikira term but we are like a thirst for it they are using chatbots to 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 make them feel engaged with someone and whoever is in depression lonely in the mari terms la in the 2k gets ku dhan very apt ninga romba depressed ana odney whatsapp la dp remove panniduvinga okay so adhilende therinjikalam you are depressed 
Uh, and those back days when we are depressed or something, so we will go to work, or, sorry, play or write something. But if up long ago, when they when the WhatsApp DP has been removed, it means they are depressed. They are they are under a pressure. And above uh, artificial intelligence, I mean, Alexa, Siri, chatbots. There are so much of application that will help you and very user friendly. Now, my dear, dear, please, so I do. Now, recent school days, like you know. when i was having a chat with my neighbor a school friend i mean in in ada yenda sogama iruka illana vaalave pidikala he is just 11th he is studying 11 vaalave pidikala na vaalave anna illa solala they are using the term call vaalave pidikala bro illana solra enga na kandukave matra hey look the 11th year students adikaprom enna da seri edha pesalanda சரிண்ணா பஸ் வந்துருச்சு நான் அப்புறம் அப்புறம் பேசுறேன் ப்ரோ என்னமோ மனசு ரொம்ப கஷ்டமா ஐ டோன்ட் ஈவன் நோ வென் ஐ வாஸ் டூயிங் மை லெவன்த் இந்த மாதிரி மனசு ஆர் டாக்ஸிக் டிப்ரெஷன் வென் ஐ வாஸ் டூயிங் மை லெவன்த் ஐ ஹவ் லாட் ஆஃப் ஹோல்ஸ் இன் மை பேண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஷர்ட்ஸ் அது அவ்வளோதான் எங்களுக்கு தெரியும் அண்ட் வி யூஸ் டு பிளே வித் சாக் பீஸ் அண்ட் சின்ஸ் வி வேர் ஃப்ரம் கவர்மெண்ட் ஸ்கூல் அவ்வளோதான் வி வித் நோ ஆஃப் விச் மீன்ஸ் திஸ் ஜென்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் விச் லோடட் வித் சோ மச் ஆஃப் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன்ஸ் even if i have a, my sister here in kumaranagar avan avan velada mode he always use youtube in previously generation grandmothers used to tell stories illa our parents ipo la youtube dhan kadha solludu pa tv la potu urranga tv la solra kadhai la nambranga whatever the stories told by tvs or youtubes or social applications they just accept and they have their time so your grandmothers your grandparents even the parents has been replaced by artificial intelligence that we need to accept either we we are not aware of you are not conscious of ad edho velaatta thanama nanichit irukom but adhe mari whenever they are going for search in youtube some violent videos or some nonsense videos around comes around the child just replicates so so that that so much of uh, problems in that even in using artificial intelligence abdin solum bodu in the decision making namba sollam we are good at decision making problem solving visual perception touch emotion recently i, I uh, a professor told me in bangalore a robot has been employed to teach for the kindergarten school a robot eppadi adala human interact en varuma namma innumo ipdi yamaathite irundana ipdi pesi id boomer mari pesite irundana the robots will occupy our place too look i'm not I, again I'm, i'm saying i'm not scaring you and i'm not against humans but then we need to accept what is going on now ella atli me humans if for example uh, plastic surgery pandring you are you are applying makeups and we people using a lot of things and again in the in the in the facial tone pudikliya i can change the skin if i don't uh, like to be this skin or, or in, the, in the physical appearance pudikliya i can change using technology laser treatments are so much and so so in a way or so we are using artificial intelligence in everyday life next thing so the, the, the all the uh, factors artificial intelligence are already involved in from smart homes nareya per homes irukadhe doubt a irukku all all were engaged with their own mobile phones digital colonization abindra mari words or digital narratives social network defense but this aspect is very important especially defense gaga da it was uh, initially employed or it was generated war purpose gaga da but over the course of time corporates have taken artificial intelligence and they have deployed into all the things in the premise lam i'll i'll just explain later but we are going the educational aspect plagiarism checkers automated grading customized digital learning interface virtual teachers or lectures இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய விஷயங்கள் இருக்கு சோ வி வில் போக்கஸ் ஆன் எஜுகேஷன் அண்ட் இன் தட் டூ ஓன்லி ஆன் தி லிட்ரேச்சர் பெர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ் வி ஆர் நாட் டிவியேட்டிங் இது எல்லாத்துலயுமே இருக்கு நீங்க நீங்க எது யூஸ் பண்ணாலும் சஜஷன்ஸ் எல்லாம் மொபைல் தான் கொடுக்கும் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் யூ ஆர் யூசிங் வாட்ஸ்அப் இட் வில் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி கரெக்ட் த டேர்ம் ஆட்டோ கரெக்ட் ஹூ மேக்ஸ் கரெக்ஷன் வென் சம் ஒன் இஸ் நாலேஜபிள் ஆன் தட் ஏரியா வில் கிவ் யூ கரெக்ஷன்ஸ் அந்த ஆட்டோ கரெக்ஷன் த வேர்டே நம்ம சீரியஸா எடுத்துக்கல விச் மீன்ஸ் மெஷின்ஸ் நோ மோர் தன் ஆஸ் so it auto corrects us it gives suggestion who gives you suggestions someone who is good at the area and who has knowledge about the area nam idala summa apdi just like that left hand la pot poitu poite irukum machine irukku suggestions kuduvom we are becoming so dumb and we become so lazy i'll i'll explain it later 
so entertain aspect hospitality so much of things artificial is all if we call ourselves a smart trichy smart city right actually smart city means using technology we need to get connected it's not about green parks or number smart city in the concept eppadi purinjirukom appadina park anga anga iruka selfie eduka photo eduka edam iruka that's a smart city no smart city means you need to get auto automatically connected and it work on automated way using expert systems for traffic signals or railway stations bus stands everything has to be automated and it should work namak adalla inga kedai theriyave theriyad smart city appadina color color ah light eriyano anga anga selfie edukra mari edam irundha that will can be called as or accepted as smart city so the smart city in the term ku ana main primary thing is artificial intelligence in every field or or city la in the aspect la ellame irundich appadina that can be called as smart city maybe for name sake we can use as trichy as a smart city but let's see next right on the four aspect i will explain you whenever you go for a, a reading of a science fiction novel or or any any type of uh, text from science fiction in the naal aspect la when a machine or a humanoid robots misses from any one of the single aspect it will end in a dystopian way we call it as utopian ending and dystopian ending in the naal aspect are very important these are the four pillars of creating an application called artificial intelligence இப்போ நீங்கள்லாம் மனுஷங்க அப்படின்னு எதை வச்சு சொல்கிறோம் பயங்கரமாக நோட்ஸ் எடுக்கிறீங்க ஐ நெவர் பீன் லைக் திஸ் உங்களெல்லாம் பார்க்கும்போது ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமாக இருக்கு யூ ஆர் டேக்கிங் நோட்ஸ் அண்ட் ரைட்டிங் சம்திங் ஐ நெவர் ஈவன் ஹேட் அ பென் வென் ஐ வாஸ் அ யூஜி ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ரைட் ஹவு கேன் ஐ மீன் வி கால் ஆர் செல்ஃப் எஸ் ஹியூமன்ஸ் அண்ட் வாட் பேசிஸ் வி கால் ஆர் செல்ஃப் ஹியூமன்ஸ் ஐம் சாரி வி திங்க் ரேஷ்னலி okay i'm sorry make it louder summa sollunga hands legs adala irukke okay <laughs> we we possess the body parts so we call as humans emotions right but na inge endu pesumbodhu nariya per adha andha mari onnu irukkadhe therilla they are like just like right you emotions irukku but kaamikiradhum kaamikadhu ennoda virupam apdi dhaan inda inda generation irukku that's my privacy you should not interfere right appo acting humanly thinking humanly thinking rationally and acting rationally these are the four pillars or approaches in creating or generating an artificial intelligence ninga endha artificial application you use pannalum idha naal irundha dhaan it's very convincible or satisfying for us an acting humanly was developed based on the alan turing's method which means when you make a question when you ask a question to a machine it should reply you or it should act in a way more humanly for example uh, if a chat gpt you are raising a question uh, i'm i'm just typing am i a gay are you a gay i don't know i'm sorry as a model language developer i don't have a feasible question for you this is what it it just acts like a human or whenever you you use social media for example whatsapp or twitter or gotum the contents that have been showed it based on the humanly approach abdi irundha da we will accept it as something illana machine mari therinjirum we will feel like machine you are using your phones every day more than 20 hours not with even with your friends you are engaged but your mobiles adu eppadi ungala namba vekkida appo na first thing it will act humanly for which you can go through uh, turing's method which was uh, initiated at the time of second world war where machines act in a humanly way which means it responds in a human way and thinking humanly thinking humanly if you can google uh, google vand inda eda paala repair a irukka appo na inge povadinga you can take for example swiggy and zomato you are u- using apps where it will just think like a human namalukku aasa vidave vidad we will just uh, uh, search for some some snacks what any offer coming and we will go for that we will just jumping on even your suggestions the machines will think like a human because humans will never uh, how to say satisfied with what they have they will always keep on jumping with their wishes so and mari ni ungalku kudukra ipo for example if you just open the instagram you don't know how much of time you are spending with insta 
இன்னும் இன்னும் சொல்ல போனா வாட்ஸ்அப்ல நீங்க போற ஸ்டேட்டஸே ஒரு நாளைக்கு மோர் தென் தௌசண்ட் டைம்ஸ் and it will give you suggestions your whatsapp uh, status is going to be deleted or it's going to expire in, within a time so and so thinking humanly it knows how to think like a human it will never su- give you suggestions something which is we- weird or absurd it just acts like as we are as we do and the third one is thinking rationally this is what these applications are used in banks bank sectors and other so and so even if you take for a, a graduating your marks இப்பெல்லாம் எக்ஸாம் எல்லாம் நடத்தணும்னு அவசியமே இல்லை யூ கேன் ஜஸ்ட் ரைட் யுவர் எக்ஸாம் அந்த டைப் யூ டோன்ட் ஈவன் டு டைப் யூ ஜஸ்ட் ரீட் ஐ மீன் ஸ்பீக் இட் வில் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி கெட் டைப் அண்ட் யூ வில் ஃபீட் இட் டு ரேட் அண்ட் இட் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி கரெக்ட் அண்ட் இட் வில் கிவ் யூ அ கிரேடிங் இட் வில் திங்க் ரேஷ்னலி என் திங்க் ரேஷ்னலி அகெயின் கூகுள் மேப்ஸ் எந்த ரோட் எந்த எந்த டைம்ல போனால் எது ஈஸியாக இருக்கும் எது உங்களுக்கு சேஃப்டியாக இருக்கும் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் திங்க் ரேஷ்னலி அண்ட் அட் லாஸ்ட் ஆக்டிங் ரேஷ்னலி acting rationally abindrathu whatever the thing is for example if you take atm machines it will never act humanly unga card maati ichapuna i am sorry illa na vande ungalku na renda chance tharen appo la kade once you sp- swipe it's avladha if it's for one day only once it's over it will just act rationally it's like 2 plus 2 4 it will never think as namma namma dhan kepom la machine da poi thevalada kelvi la kepom Uh, are you in love with someone edha chat gpt la edha potrupom eduth one are you single are you in love ena idhala nanu pannirka nanu pannirka apna perumaiya solala but we people are with stupidity but adhu da nalla vishayam humans ode periya plus ena being innocent and with some stupidness so these are the four platforms uh, i would suggest you whoever is doing on science area or whoever is going to read science fiction novels or anything for that matter in the null aspect le edho one collapse aagum bodhu it will end in a dystopian way because these four approaches will make us feel comfortable and accept a machine as a human otherwise we will think human as a human or an, it will end in a dystopian way uh, we expect rationalism and logic in cinemas but in real life we never expect logic abadi magic nadakkum expect pannom கிளாஸுக்கு வரைய மாட்டோம் படிக்கவே மாட்டோம் ஆனால் பாஸ் ஆகணும் வேலை கிடைக்கணும் பட் இன் மூவிஸ் ஹி வில் ஜம்ப் ஃப்ரம் ஃப்ரம் தௌசண்ட் ஃபீட் வி ஸ்டில் அக்செப்ட் ஈவன் ரீசெண்டாக ராஜய சிம்மா ரெட்டி சம் பாலையா மூவி ஐ எம் அ பிக் ஃபேன் ஆஃப் பாலையா ஓகே யூ ஜஸ்ட் ஹாவ் டு டிஸ் லொக்கேட் யுவர் பிரெயின் அண்ட் டு வாட்ச் பாலையாஸ் மூவி தட் வி வில் அக்செப்ட் அப்படியே காலேஜில் நடக்கும் போது பூ கொட்டும் பெண்களுக்கு கூந்தல் பறக்கும் ஆண்களுக்கு அப்படியே மனசு தீஸ் திங்ஸ் வில் நெவர் ஒர்க் இன் ரியல் லைஃப் அதுவும் திருச்சி வயலில் நீங்கள் இதெல்லாம் எப்படி எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் பண்ணுறீங்கன்னு ஐ டோன்ட் ஈவன் நோ இது ஏசி ஆல் தட்ஸ் ஃபைன் பட் ஐ யூஸ் டு டெல் மை ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இந்த வெயிலில் நீங்கள் மலைக்கோட்டையை சுற்றிக்கிட்டு படத்தில் காமிக்கிற மாதிரி தீஸ் டூ கே கிட்ஸ் ஆர் ஹஸ் ஜஸ்ட் மேக்கிங் பீஜியம்ஸ் பிகைன் தர் ஓன் ஃபோட்டோ பர்த்டே திங்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸோ அண்ட் ஸோ இன் ரியல் லைஃப் தேர் வில் நாட் பி மியூசிக் ஜி இது ஆர்யா சொல்கிற மாதிரி அவன் நடந்து வரா மியூசிக் கேட்குது அப்படிலாம் இங்கே ரியல் லைஃப்பில் நடக்காது அம்மா அப்பா அசிங்க அசிங்கமாக திட்டுறது தான் காதில் okay so we need to be very logical in life but then as a literature student or as as a people who with imaginative powers and innovation things we go illogical so life is very logic if you re- if you take bible for example ipdi vaanda ipdi irukum ipdi mudiyum everything for that matter is very logical but we haven't seen text or analyze or taken things in a logical perspective whereas most of the things we taken from an emotive perspective கடவுள் வந்தாரு கடவுள் எதுக்கு வந்தார் அதை யோசிக்கணும் ஃப்ரம் லாஜிக்கல் பெர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ் அவர் பாட் நான் அமைதியாக இருந்திருப்பார் அவர் எதுக்கு வர வச்சோம் என்ன ரீசன் அதை யோசிக்க மாட்டோம் அவர் வந்துட்டார் அப்படி வி ஜஸ்ட் எக்ஸாஜுரேட் இன் எமோஷனல் வே பட் வி ஃபெயில் டு திங்க் இன் அ லாஜிக்கல் வே ஸோ கீப் நோட் அ ஃபோர் தீஸ் ஃபோர் திங்ஸ் விச் இஸ் வெரி ப்ரைமரி ஸோ அல்காரிதம்ஸ் அப்படின்னு ஒரு ஒரு கீ டேர்ம் தட் இஸ் வெரி சூட்டட் வித் ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் அல்காரிதம் இட்ஸ் லைக் அ செட் ஆஃப் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஃபார் சால்விங் எ ப்ராப்ளம் ஆர் அக்காம்ப்ளிஷிங் எ டாஸ்க் நீங்க பிறந்ததுக்கு அப்புறம் ஸ்டில் யூ டை யூ வில் பி இன்கார்பரேட்டட் வித் ஸோ மச் ஆஃப் அல்காரிதம்ஸ் நீங்க காலேஜ் வரும்போது உங்க ப்ரொஃபஸர் சொல்லுவாங்க இப்படி தான் படிக்கணும் இப்படி இருக்கணும் அப்படின்னு தட்ஸ் அன் அல்காரிதம் எட் செட் ஆஃப் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் பட் நம்ம சிஸ்டம்ல வைரஸ் கரெக்ட் ஆன மாதிரி வி நெவர் டேக் தோஸ் அல்காரிதம்ஸ் யூ ட்ரை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் டெஃபினெட்லி வி வில் ஆல்சோ நோ ஹவு ஹியூமன்ஸ் மைண்ட் அண்ட் பிரெயின் ஒர்க்ஸ் ரெண்டுமே வித்தியாசமான விஷயம் கிடையாது 
we generate uh, or we incorporate computer systems or applications with algorithms algorithms of a set of instructions either panna either panno for example bank na munade sonna mari your mobile phones if you just click it will open it will enter it will just give you a reply other than that, that it won't do anything algorithms every system is infused or incorporated with algorithms as we human does nammalku enna algorithms nalla yosichu parunga maximum we have been algorithm with religious concepts chinna vayasil ende religion namakku or foundation a irukum நல்லதே செய்யணும் அடுத்து உங்களுக்கு உதவணும் ஓகேவா அந்த மாதிரி ரொம்ப நல்லவனா இருந்தீங்கன்னா வாழ முடியாது அப்படின்னு இப்போ அல்காரிதம்ஸ் மாறுது அல் நல்லவனா இருந்தீங்கன்னா நீ அப்படியே இருக்க வேண்டியதுதான் அப்படின்ற மாதிரி தி அல்காரிதம்ஸ் ஆர் கீப்பிங் சேஞ்சிங் ஸோ அல்காரிதம்ஸ் இஸ் அஸ்ட் ஆஃப் செட் ஆஃப் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன்ஸ் இஃப் யூ கெட் இன் டு தி சயின்ஸ் ஃபிக்ஷன் ஒர்க்ஸ் ஆர் லிட்ரேச்சர் எல் அதில் அல்காரிதம்ஸ் இருக்கும் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் யூ டேக் கிராமர் கிராமர் இஸ் அன் அல்காரிதம் ஒரு 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 சென்டென்ஸில் வேர்ப் இருக்கணும் definitely there should be verb noun enga use pannu idu adjective enga use pannu so it all algorithms next these are the main four uh, artificial intelligence idu enna nam in the four aspect deep learning artificial neural networks machine learning and artificial intelligence humans ukku idhukku endha difference um kude deep learning means we have been fed up with so much of information from those information machine will just pick it and learn ipo ungalku vandu neriya vishayangal solli irupanga chinna vayasil irund you have been loaded with so much of information but neenga adhil irund edha choose panna poringa as a good friend i am telling you idha idha seiyinga innor friend adha seiyadinga nu solluvanga but what you are going to choose that's deep learning uh, you you log into any social media platforms with your google mail id so your informations all have been stored in a uh, in a in a system உங்களை பத்தி எல்லா விஷயமும் அதுக்கு தெரியும் இஃப் யூ ஆர் யூசிங் அலெக்ஸா யுவர் ஹோம் அப்ளையன்சஸ் அண்ட் யுவர் எனி சோசியல் ஆப்ஸ் ஆல் யுவர் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஹஸ் பீன் கிவன் இன் டு மெஷின்ஸ் 